Hey Seamilk. Yeah. Don't know about you, but I'm pretty sick and tired of talking about China. Well, I mean, it's kind of our identity. This is something <laughs> that, but no, I'm serious. It's something yeah. that bothers me a little bit. Is look, that at, look at that cool temple, by the way. Yeah, it's see awesome. again, Taiwan. You're just on the side of the road. You see just a random temple. Hey, and sorry. beetle nut girls. Anyway. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, yeah I, I'm worried because it's like people come to us for the China content. I get it. I get it. Right? Yeah. But sometimes we want to talk about other stuff. You know what I mean? Like our identity isn't just China. people too <laughs> we have yeah. thoughts and dreams and hopes and opinions on a lot of things if you right? prick us do we not bleed hmm. do you I have an idea what let's just talk about who we are okay you know what I mean like I people know how we met yeah but we always it's always our opinions on certain topics so you have your stories from South Africa I talk about America sometimes sure but who are we like what do we like right okay. so Winston yeah if you were gonna go into like an icebreaker situation. That's yeah. a pretty cool scene, isn't it? On the train going through the yeah. ice paddies. Um And I said, Winston, tell me about yourself. And you would tell me things like, you know, what, what's your favorite kind of music? Oh, I prefer things like uh, alternative, you know, rock and roll, that kind of stuff. But I suppose if there was one genre that would identify me, it would be 80, like 80s pop music, to be honest. Like anything from the 80s, 80s rock. 80s pop, you know. Right. I love 80s music. It's that just is what I know thing. about you as yeah. well. That is yeah. that is very much you. Absolutely. How about Eight, you? Like, give me an example, though. Oh, an example? Yeah, so wow. people can latch on. Uh, Johnny Hates Jazz, anything from those guys. Okay. That's kind of late 80s, early 90s stuff, right? Okay. Johnny Hates Jazz. Um, who else, man? Like, uh, Foreigner. Love Foreigner. Okay. You know, all that kind of stuff. Something that's got a little bit of guitar in it. Something that's got a little, little bit of rock. A little guitar, a little bit of rock. A little bit of rock, a little bit of soul, a little bit of uh, Not like cheesy, hair metal, though. Cheesy, but I like hair metal, too, man. Oh, okay. But, you know, you got to be in the right mood. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Pro the problem is a lot of 80s stuff is very cheesy and unsophisticated. Right. Um, but I like that. I, I what, don't like right. to take my music too seriously. I like I like a bit of everything. I mean, I, I'll also listen to Pink Floyd or whatever, you know, something a bit more in-depth. But uh, I got you, I got you. You know, Dire Straits, you name it, man. Anything from the 80s, I'm, I'm into that, you know? I can dig that. Yeah, how about you? I like, uh, I like, if I want to get really specific, I like symphonic metal. So, like, okay. if it's, like, metal from, like, uh, you know, Scandinavia, black metal stuff. Not, like, I'm going to rip your heart out and eat it, that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. with, like, dark themes, if you know what I mean? A little yeah. bit of gothic theme. Right, right, right. Um, kind of, like, dark themes. So, you have bands like Opeth and Dimu Borgir and Satyricon and... All that kind of crap, I like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't listen to that all the time. Right. If I'm just pop, I, I actually, <laughs> I listen to pop music even if I don't like it. If okay. It's, if it's there, I usually know that what's popular. Like, I'll listen to that just just because. I like to stay, you know, with the times. Sure. Um, but man, I really do just like some of the late, mid to late 90s stuff really gets me going. Like, just from your childhood, thinking about back in those times, you know? So right, probably the same right, reason right. as you, you know? Yeah, I mean, because South Africa was about 10 years behind, so... When I'm in my car with, like, satellite radio, yeah, I'm always on, like, the 90s channel or the early 2000s channel, just thinking about those times, you know? But I'll flip back, I'll flip back to, like, the, uh, you know, the metal channel, or I'll... I'll go to the hip-hop channel, but I'll always leave it, because actually I found out I don't really like hip-hop. <laughs> yeah, good. Good news. I'm, I mean, there's like certain things I do like, but like it's not it's not a genre I would say I love. Especially right. nowadays, it's like absolute garbage. Sure. Just filth, like retarded Xanax popping like teenagers with tat face tattoos. Right, absolute right, right. trash. Anyway, um, what, what if I was asked to ask you this? Yeah. What, uh, what would your like political leanings be? There's nothing to do on the Chinese internet. I'm so bored. Wait, try this. NordVPN. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. Cool. Bye. You know, using the internet in China can be a real drag. But 
Out of all the VPNs that we tried, we found that NordVPN was the best for unblocking all of the websites on the internet that are blocked within China. But it's not just for that. Although VPNs are up and down in China, we found that NordVPN is the most radical. Not only does it unblock all the websites that we can't reach when we're in China, but also when we're outside of China, it gives us a safety net to make sure that nobody's snooping in on our data. But there's many other uses as well. Yeah, like you can get these bodacious deals on flights and hotels, and car rentals, and all kinds of stuff if you change your location on the VPN. So when you're hanging 10, remember to use NordVPN. Don't forget to go to nordvpn.com slash ADVChina. Not only will you get one month free if you use the code ADVChina, but you'll get 75% off a three-year plan. Catch you on the surf, surfing the internet. Like in general, uh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, definitely center right. Okay. Like, you know, I'm, I believe everybody should have a fair chance in life and, you know, I'm all for com being compassionate and stuff, but I also think that people need to work work for their keep, you know? Right. I don't believe in free handouts from the government. Right. That kind of thing. That would make you quite right then. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, I'm also very central, right? I still believe in, like, compassionately helping people who really need sure, it type sure, thing, sure, you know? Sure, sure, sure. I gotcha. It's a bit weird. I'm not, I'm not like a staunch right-winger, but there's one thing I'm definitely not as left-wing, 100%. Right, I, right. I know that. Yeah, um, I would say you're, like, middle right. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Uh, I'm probably a lot less right than you are, but yeah. not in the government handout territory. Okay. Uh, just in the way, I think you believe in a lot more uh, control and order. Well, yeah, I believe that there should be a certain amount of order. Can't let everybody just do whatever the hell they want. Right. Otherwise, Whereas you know, I think I would be, I'm, I'm definitely more libertarian in that respect. I don't believe in higher powers controlling individuals. Okay. Um, so I don't. I think people should be able to do whatever they want as long as it is not damaging other people. I think the real problems right. come about when there is a lack of order but there's also a semblance of order so there's like a, a toxic society of people that suck off the system yeah you know like getting the welfare handouts but also fall into things like addiction and stuff and then it's this really dangerous like i deserve to have the same le life standard as everyone else yeah so i'm gonna get this free housing and stuff and i'm you know that's how cities fall apart right yeah. so you get ghettos and stuff like that so At the end of i'm, the day, I'm yeah. more libertarian i don't believe in in government control so much yeah cool. um yeah what about like uh, if I if I were to be like yo let's go get something to eat what would you what would you pick? Oh man that's kind of a tough one but I I found just in you general know, you know what okay I mean, uh, I mean I I'll go on a bit about this because you know earlier in my life I was uh, very much interested in in Asian culture right 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 so you get you go through those phases where you think stuff like ah oh, Japanese food is like the best you know right, sushi right. and ramen and stuff it's amazing. like what you're into at the time right yeah. And, uh, you know, we live in China and you're like, oh, Chinese food is amazing, it's exotic. But I've grown grown up and I've got to the point where, you know what, I actually prefer Western food. Right, but what is Western food, Jim? I mean, that's a massive thing. That's a Chinese view on it. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I mean, Western food to me is stuff like uh, steak right. and pizza and pasta oh. and uh, hamburgers and, you know, that kind of thing. Right, right. Um, so yeah, I mean, if if we were to get like have a choice right now, what we can eat, uh, yeah, it would literally be a choice between going to like a, an izakaya, which for those of you who don't Japanese know what that is, goes, yeah. it's it's basically a um, Japanese little little like restaurant, nighttime barbecue type restaurant that serves other things. You know, it's right. kind of nice. You can have all sorts of goodies here and, and lots of different choices. Yeah, so I'd either go to something like that because it's kind of nice and clean. You get some good, clean, delicious food. Or I'd go for like a bloody pizza or a massive hamburger or a steak or something, you know? Right. How about I hope you? the pizza doesn't have blood all over it. Yeah, well, <laughs> that'd be pretty Lots gross. Lots of pizza sauce, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, me? Yeah, you go through phases, right? Sometimes yeah. I'm just craving some insanely weird stuff, you know? Sometimes I'm just, I want something simple. But like, um, I would say recently, like, I've just really missed really good Italian food. I grew up eating really good Italian food because I grew up in upstate New York, so. Okay. When people have Italian food, it's usually just like really basic pastas and stuff. But when you grow up eating the real stuff, it's like full of flavor, lots sure. of strong spices and stuff. It's great. Uh, so I like, I really like a really nice pizza. I like a really nice pasta, maybe with like a creamy vodka sauce and some oh, seafood yeah. in it or something. That does you know sound I mean? good, yeah. Um, so that's probably like gun to my head. Like I love Italian food. Um, weirdly enough, I'm German, but German food is kind of boring. I love sausage. Yeah, and sauerkraut know. and things like that, but it's not like a cuisine to me. It's kind of like I don't want to eat that every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Um, I love Japanese food. I love the izakaya thing. For the experience, I would choose izakaya as well. Just love it. I think it's so fun. We do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just for the experience, yeah. Right. Um, but you know, and, and there's sometimes I just really crave good Chinese food as well. But yeah, I'm gonna say Italian food. Single dish though. Yeah. Uh, definitely buffalo wings. I've probably mentioned this a million times. It's just my favorite. It's my favorite food in the world, you know? You grew up around it. It's like becomes a comfort thing. I get why certain Chinese people think like so-and-so dish is their comfort food. We have the same thing, you know? Yeah, sure. Some people's macaroni and cheese or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And I think those are three things that define us. What else? What else can we, how oh. else can we uh, define ourselves? Yeah, what about like hobbies? Hobbies, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, a good way to you find You go out. first, you go first. Okay. Like, what are you into? Man, I love anything with mechanics. So, you know, like yeah. fixing bikes, fixing cars. I love working on cars. Right. I always have. And it's one of those things that China has deprived me of because right. I can't. I like the whole, like, fixing up your car, cleaning your car, you know, messing around, tuning it up. You know, I just enjoy that so much. Right. S same with bikes. So that's definitely one of my hobbies. Another one would definitely be anything to do with computers, really. You know, I'm a computer enthusiast, always have been. So whether it's building computers, playing computer games, or just like messing about on computers in general, I like computers, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's probably about it. Like, you know, cars and computers, that's my life, man. How about you? Um, man, I mean, I, I'm gonna say the cars thing as well. Mine's a little bit different though. Like I'm not good at mechanics or anything. But I like the idea of it, and I'll still do it anyway. I like to be around someone that knows what they're doing um, and mess around. I, I love it. I actually love that kind of stuff. But I'm not, like, super good at it or anything. Hey, you'll learn. Um, you'll learn, you know? Yeah, of course, of course. And I'm definitely more adept than your average dude that's never picked up a tool, yeah, right? You, you learn. You probably understand, you understand yeah. what's going on more, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Um, so I like that kind of stuff. I love, I love cars. I love modifications. I like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and I like just the, the upkeep and, and keeping nice vehicles. I think like having a nice collection of cars I, that I love is a thing. Uh, and bikes as well. That's definitely a thing. Um, other hobbies, I used to be really into music. Playing, I used to play bass guitar and stuff. And I like make, I love making music. I love it a lot. Okay. I actually like it more than making videos. Really? Uh, but it's not, it's not rewarding because there's just no, when you don't have an audience, or your audience is tiny, like it's not, you don't get a huge bit of, a lot of satisfaction out of it. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly. Because it's a lot mean. of work. Yeah, I don't know if people know this, but like producing good music is very difficult. Super, I tried it for a little bit, I suck, it's impossible right. for me. But that, that's something I'm passionate about, for sure. If I could get back into it, I would. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I love. What do I love to do? I, I'm probably much more of a foodie than you, so I'm gonna throw oh, yeah. that as a hobby. Like I love, I love going out and trying new restaurants and I don't I won't go to a restaurant that's like shit <laughs> like if I know it's just mediocre I don't want to go there I'll okay. enjoy it still but right. I don't want to go there right I like to try and do really good highly rated places and I gotcha enjoy it and I love um I like whiskey I love whiskey and 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 tasting it I really enjoy it you enjoy tasting whiskey yes I like scotch I'm a huge scotchman Recently been getting into bourbon as well, which is weird. Never thought I'd be into it. Well, you are American, right? So. Yeah, but like I've always been a trader because I've been a Scotch guy for okay. more than 10 years now, you know? All right. Yeah, that's, that's kind me. Of fun. That's me. I mean, yeah, I enjoy drinking too. I suppose you could call it a hobby in a way, right? Yeah, I mean, like, especially if you're there's certain alcohols you like more than others, you know? Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> kind of cool. I don't think getting drunk is a hobby. I, I think it is. So I think something about it, I enjoy. Something, something you do in your spare time that you enjoy. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Why is it not a hobby? Right, yeah. I guess, you know, it's funny, is we have Chinese people, their hobbies is like sleeping and playing, playing Re Reading or watching, games. watching yeah. you know, online streaming. It's not yeah. really a hobby to sleeping, me. Sleeping yeah. is not a freaking hobby. No, it's not. I keep telling them that, but whatever. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I guess anyway, that kind of puts us... That's uh, who we are. Uh, yeah, it gives a little bit more of insight as, as to yeah. who we are. Yeah, yeah pretty nice. Nice one. Okay, well, I guess is there anything you'd like to tell our subs before we sign off? Whether you like Winston or you like me, Sea Milk. <laughs> I hope you like us both, actually, because yeah, we do I'm run the channel sure together. I'm pretty sure they like us both, otherwise they wouldn't watch. True. Probably for, for different reasons, but we do have a lot of similarities, so I understand why why it works out so well for us. Yeah. Um, but we have enough differences to keep it interesting, don't we? Um, I hope you guys enjoy our videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one, where you got to know a little bit more about us, a little more in depth. Um, and if you did, let us know down below. And give us a like if you, if you uh, enjoyed the video, and also subscribe to see future videos as well, and thanks. Yeah, and whether you think drinking is a hobby or not, we love you all the same. Right. So until next time, you know the drill, guys. Just like these beautiful rice patties all over. 
stay awesome. ADV China, every Monday, same time, same place. Wednesdays, Lao 86, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, on Friday, just in time for a beer, Serpents at 8.